Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Data Engineering Career Path by IntelliPad. But before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. A data engineer is an IT professional whose primary responsibility is to prepare data for analytical or operational purposes. Data engineers design the system that gather, handle and turn raw data into usable information for data scientists and business analysts to comprehend in a range of scenarios. Their ultimate objective is to make data more available so that businesses may assess and improve their performances. So without any more wait, let's start the session by taking a look at our today's agenda. Why become a data engineer? Learning curve for data engineering. Job responsibilities of a data engineer. Job scopes and salary ranges. Sample interview questions. And finally, future of data engineering. So now let's take a look at our first topic. Why become a data engineer? Most businesses have undergone a digital transition in the recent decade. This has resulted in an unthinkable numbers of new sorts of data as well as considerably more complex data being created at a greater rate. While it was previously obvious that the data scientists would be required to make sense of it all, it was less obvious that someone would be required to organize and maintain the quality, security and the availability of this data in order for the data scientists to do their jobs. In earlier times, it was only the burden of the data scientists to collect, organize and clean the data even before starting to analyze it. With the storm of completed corporate digital transformations, the Internet of Things and the rush to become AI-driven, it's evident that the businesses require a large number of data engineers to lay the groundwork for successful data science programs. Companies require teams of employees whose main purpose is to process data in such a manner that values may be extracted. As a result, the function of data engineers will continue to increase in relevance and scope. And with such demand for the role of data engineers in this current digital world, the big shot companies, which we are about to see, are all lined up in the data engineering investments. Facebook, where the average salary for data engineers are somewhere around 1,75,000 US dollars. Airbnb gives around 1,69,000 US dollars. Capital One with 1,68,000 US dollars. Microsoft with 1,65,000 US dollars. Cisco Systems with 1,60,000 US dollars. Google with 1,27,000 US dollars. AT&T with 1,3,000 dollars. And finally, IBM with 91,000 US dollars approximately. Now let us take a look at our next topic, learning curve for data engineering. Now we'll be taking a look at some of the very basic requirements to become a successful data engineering. Coding. Coding is a highly sought after skill that is required for the majority of data engineering jobs. Many organizations expect candidates to have a working knowledge of programming languages such as Python, Golang, Ruby, Perl, Scala, Java, SAS, R, MATLAB, C and C++. Data warehousing. Data engineers are responsible for storing and analyzing massive amounts of data. That's why in a data engineering profession, expertise with and experience with data warehousing platforms such as Panoply and Redshift is critical. Knowledge of operating systems. Knowing how to work with operating systems such as Apple's Mac OS, Microsoft's Windows, and then Linux, Solaris, Unix are essential as a data engineer. Data analysis. Most organizations require data engineers to be well versed in analytic softwares, particularly Apache Hadoop based solutions such as MapReduce, Hive, Pig, and HBase. Critical thinking skills. Data engineers must be able to assess problems and then devise innovative and effective solutions. Basic understanding of machine learning. Though machine learning is generally the domain of data scientists, having a fine grasp of how to use this sort of data is beneficial to data engineers as well. Building your data modeling and statistical analysis skills will help you design solutions that others can use, establishing you as a valuable addition to any firm. And finally, communication skills. As a data engineer, you must be able to interact with both technical and non-technical colleagues, which is why excellent communication skills are essential. 
When it comes to getting a career boost or a career kickstart, nothing comes close to completing a top certified course from a respected source. Hence, let's take a look at some of the top major data engineering certifications, with first one being Amazon Web Service Certified Big Data Specialty Certified Course, Microsoft Certified Azure Data Engineering Associate Certified Course, SAS Certified Big Data Professional Certified Course, the Databricks Certified Professional Data Engineering Certified Certification, and finally, the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineering course. Now, let's take a look at our next topic, which is job responsibilities of a data engineer. Let's look at some of the key responsibilities that a data engineer might come across on a daily basis. Analyze and organize unstructured data, create data pipelines and systems, examine your company's requirements and goals, analyze patterns and trends, conduct complex data analysis and report on results, prepare data for prescriptive and predictive modeling, build algorithms and prototypes, combine raw information from different sources, explore ways to enhance data quality and reliability, and finally, and finally, identify opportunities for data acquisition. Now, let's see our next topic, job scopes and salary ranges. Let's take a quick peek at some of the companies who are in great need of data engineers. They are Visa, Accenture, Deloitte, Adobe, IBM, and Mercedes-Benz. The average Indian salary. In India, the salary for a data engineer ranges from as much as 4 lakhs per annum to somewhere around as much as 20 lakhs per annum, with the average salaries coming around somewhere between 8 and 9 lakhs per annum. Now, let's look at some sample interview questions so that it will help you in your interviews. Explain data engineering. What is data modeling? List various types of data schemas and data modeling. Distinguish between structured and unstructured data. What is name mode? What is the full form of HDFS? Define block and block scanner in HDFS. Explain star schema. And for our final topic, future of data engineering. As we manage an ever-increasing number of data sources and data pipelines and data-driven firms, the function of a data engineer will only become more relevant and crucial in organizations of all sizes. Hence, it is pretty much easy to say that the future of data engineering looks quite bright. That's all for this video. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates. Just a quick info guys. If you want to learn data engineering, then IntelliPad provides a job guarantee program in collaboration with MIT MicroMasters. This course will be taught by MIT professors and industry experts. This course will help you to upskill and land your dream job.